Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another tutorial from the GarageBand series, uh, the TDCS actually. And last tutorial we did a piano roll tutorial. I went over the basics on how to create a nice introduction of a song with the piano roll and we didn't spend that much additional time expanding on the song, but I hope you got a good feel on how to use a piano roll. I also briefly discussed the score as well as a piano roll and also demonstrated that you can throw in loops with the piano roll sections that you created and in order to create a more complex and interesting song so in this tutorial I'm, it's not really going to be a tutorial it's just going to be a concept of the sound effects and I'm going to briefly discuss those and then the next tutorial will actually create a first sound effect. So a sound effect is basically the way most people use sound effects. If it's some way realistic, like it's not a space game or anything like that, people usually take live sounds and ma manipulate it or if it's good the way it is, they would use it. Now explosions on the other hand, I don't think you want to go out and explode something. So what I did for my impact or explosion sounds is I just <laughs> banged the desk and recorded that and manipulated it inside of GarageBand. And I also banged the floor and see what that comes out to be. So just, you can use inside of your house you want an explosion? Stomp your foot, record it, and manipulate it inside of GarageBand and see if you can come up with, you know, increase the uh, bass a little bit, increase, try to create an echo, or, you know, all the effects that I showed you in the previous tutorial. Uh, just try to add all those effects. Alright, so what I did with the like a monster growl or something like that <clears throat> that's all I did I just <clears throat> I just cleared my throat and I manipulated that and then you heard that dark boss growl that's just my <clears throat> manipulated now you might be able to hear it now that I mention it that's all I did I just cleared my throat and manipulated it and it sounded pretty cool so I added it to the tower defense game Now for the laugh, I just laughed. I did myself a dark laugh and then made it a little bit darker in the garage band. Uh, for the dragon growls, I just expanded on the throat clearing, basically. Made it a little bit longer. So that's the basic concept of sound effects. probably most likely for everybody listening here that they would have to do the same thing that I did which was bane on the ground or bane on the table or <clears throat> clear your throat to kind of create your own sound effects that way instead of actually going in and actually using the raw live audio like from gunshot or something like that so that's the concept on how to create sound effects. This will be a very short video. Just wanted to give you a demonstration on what I did. I also used my uh, iPad to record the sound effects and manipulated it inside of there and then I brought it into the garage band you see here and did more manipulation. So I just took my iPad and went to some place different and stop my foot to see what it sounded like all right so let's go ahead and I'll show a demonstration so let's go to documents SVN tower defense trunk audio and garage band so let's look at one of these sound effects a uh, possible firing sound. No, let's do a. Let's do the boss growl too. 
I think that has all the other sound effects to go along with it. So I just open it up and GarageBand's opening. Right, so let's just let it open. So as you can see, I have a lot of effects going on in this uh, project. And yeah, this is where all the sound effects are. So, which one's active at the moment? I think they're all active, actually. Alright, so let's bring in the growl. Let's solo this growl layer. Let's go back to the very beginning. So, that's basically all I did here. It's just when I <coughs> growled and it just manipulated. I can show you what I did with the manipulation. edit alright so I added a, a bass amp AU pitch vocal transformer a deep soulful I think I changed the reverb too so that's all the edits I did for this single growl uh, so let's do a dark laugh I just did a my own dark laugh and let's see what that came out to be Oh, that's dragon. Never mind. I'll drop laugh. All right. So that you've heard the final one that I made, and that was faster than this one. This one was slower, but I just did a laugh. I did a vocal transformer. As you see, I did this, and I did a bass reduction, and all that good stuff. And then the final result, it was sped up, and then uh, came out to be what you heard in the audio showcase. Uh, so general impact. <sighs> Do not remember what the source of that one was. I think I actually... Performed a hit effect with my mouth. <sighs> that one was a bane on the floor. As you can see, the effect I created a phaser, uh, manual reverb, and manual pitch. And I don't know, it's not active, so I, I didn't activate the phaser, but I activated the pitch and the reverb. So if I want to take these off, you might be able to hear the source. <coughs> yeah, I banged on the desk. Not the floor, but it was a desk. And I added the pitch. <coughs> which came out to be that effect that you heard before. And the reverb. <coughs> which is kind of like an echo type of thing. A phaser. I think I added that but removed it. I don't know why I removed it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's the basics on sound effects. If you're like me and don't have access to an actual dragon to get a dragon growl, you have to create one yourself. And the way I did that was just mimic a dragon growl and actually change the way it sounded based on the effects. So let's go with this dragon growl. Alright, so now let's actually uh, vocal transformer seems to be like the only thing I did. I think actually yeah that's exactly what I did and then I created the vocal transformer and came out to be came out to be that. So it's actually pretty funny. If you're in the same house as me and you hear me doing weird sound effects, it's actually pretty funny. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do certain things. Uh, just be creative with it. I want to hit effects, so I'll bang on the desk and play around with the effects and see what that comes out to be. 
if I want to laugh, I'll laugh, and then I'll change the way it sounds and make it sound evil. Uh, so anyway, next tutorial will actually, instead of demonstrating what I've already done, I will actually create a sound effect, maybe a couple for you guys, and I'll go through the process, and we'll go from there. So I hope to see you next time.